There it is. You see it? There it is. You saw it happen there. It was in, it was in the exchange that he got the takedown. That was massive for Good job, good job, good job. That was massive for Cutters. In the exchange, he got Kamal thinking striking. Chase Levels and got the takedown. Whatever media reporter in here said I went for 11 takedowns and had un unsuccessful attempts, fake news. You guys do real journalism. That's why you guys aren't journalists. You don't have journalism degrees because you put this fake news out. I obviously took him down. So I broke that stat. So you can't ever hype him up anymore and say he's never been taken down because I took him down. I can't respect a guy like that. I mean, go look on YouTube. The guy dissected everything that, you know, he cheats on and, and everything. And... You see those injection marks all over his stomach. The guy's not a clean fighter. I'm a clean fighter. I'm raw America steel and twisted sex appeal. And PCT, the worst breakout you ever get in general will be when you're like first getting on shit and then also when you're getting off it and you're in PCT, which is so paradoxical because when you're depriving yourself of androgens, you would think like, oh, I'm going to have no acne. When in reality, that's like the worst breakout you get is typically when you're coming off cycle. So. Anyways, here he is with, you know, the acne there that people always accuse him of, oh, this is clearly sauce related. Here he is at uh, um, Wayans and he can see the traps. Fucking thick back, bro. And he's got the acne climbing on the rear delts, the traps, the back. And here he is against uh, Mods of it all. And you can see again a more clear shot of the acne climbing along the rear delt, up the traps, all along the back a little bit down the back even like close to his lats like he's got back knee it's not like bad back knee but it's like he's got fucking back knee dude you know like he definitely has back knee and it's pretty uh widespread over his body it's not disgusting necessarily and it's like I don't know, like the severity is not that extreme and i would not say necessarily this is like oh clear sign it's definitely a like notch on the belt though to at least keep in mind as we move forward so he has the older brother who is a doctor of pharmacy and then he has this beef stick of a brother who's a fighter as well. So again, like some people might say this is like natty ver or natty versus juiced or, you know, juice versus natty. But again, not everyone responds the same and some people have more leeway with shit given the league and the parameters that they're in. So again, if you're fighting in like fucking pride and they're telling you to juice, obviously you're going to go full tilt. If you're in the UFC and you have very, very stringent parameters to stay between, you're gonna go a bit more easy. It might be going in the microdose department. The EPO usage, do I think he's potentially doing that? Do I think there's some weight behind what Covington's saying, behind what uh, McGregor's saying? Yeah, I do. I, I would speculate that he probably is. That's my guess. It's an educated guess. It's based on a lot of uh, you know context and um, you know performance metrics changes and whatnot. But that's my guess, dude. I can't respect a guy like that. I mean, go look on YouTube. The guy dissected everything that, you know, he cheats on and, and everything. And you see those injection marks all over his stomach. The guy's not a clean fighter. I'm a clean fighter. I'm raw America steel and twisted sex appeal. And I did this the hard way. I'm a kid from Springfield, Thurston, Oregon. And look at me. I just sold out the, or I just put the sold out Madison Square Garden, fourth highest gate in the company's history. The pay-per-view numbers are astronomical. Take one guess who did all that. That's me. I'm the one that sold this event. I'm the one that put all this asses in the seat. Whether you love me or hate me, you came to watch me tonight, and that's not debatable. Can you share what the words were that you guys had with each other after the fight? It looked like he maybe actually let the character go for a second and, and had some true, 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 true words with you. No, it's just, uh, you know, just two competitors. Two competitors. We went to war. We spent almost an hour together inside that cage. So, you know, we, we uh, you know, I'll leave that between me and him. You know, this guy's tough as now. He's very, very tough. Like, let's be honest, you know, Ali needed a Frazier. You know, all these guys, you, you you know, you can be the great one, but there's always going to be that one guy that's going to be able to push you. And and he is that guy, you know, as, as much of him outside of the octagon as, you know, most people don't like, myself included. You know, you have to respect him as a competitor. Kobe, when uh, Kamari was out here earlier, he referred to you, he sort of compared you to being the Frazier to his Ali. And I'm sure like some people would take that as a compliment, but I can imagine you thinking that's not a compliment. Can you react to that statement, please? Yeah, that's definitely not a compliment, you know. <laughs> he's a cheating coward, you know. I have no respect for that guy, you know. He's he's obviously a cheater. He's cheated in multiple fights. I mean, he was holding my grub tonight against the cage. In the first round, I shot a takedown, and he went bomb, bomb twice to the back of the head. And, you know, I think Dan Murgliotto is 
top three best refs in, in, in the game. But I told him before the fight, I warned him, hey, do not let this guy hit me in the back of the head. And, and he did right away. If you go back and look at the footage, you know, he, clearly the back of the head. And, and when you hit someone in the back of the head, man, it, it definitely dazes you. Right there, right there. Right No, no, this game never gets easier. You know, the guys just get tougher, bigger and better and faster and younger. And, um, you know, grateful to be in this position. I have respect for him as a competitor. He's done a great job with his career. And um, like I've said, he's the next best guy in the division. You know, a lot of manifestation in my, my journey. And uh, this is just another notch on that belt.